Hello and welcome to your weekly reading. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And what we're going to use for this reading today is three decks of powerful angel cards. I'm going to bring in the Angel Prayers Oracle by Kyle Gray. I'm going to bring in the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle because I feel that he has given us all strength right now because this is a powerful time of new beginnings. And for a new beginning, we have to be fearless and let the past go and move forward fearlessly into the unknown and know that we are safe and he brings that energy in every single day i'm also going to bring in the butterfly oracle because there are so many changes right now so don't be surprised if you are seeing butterflies or even moths big sign of transformation and change you may be seeing dragonflies as well a big sign of rapid change you may be seeing the numbers 555 five, five on the clock or even 222 two, two is a sign to know you are safe as you prepare for change, as you get ready for change, as you go through change, because whenever you're going through, you'll get through it stronger. And if you're struggling, guess what? This too shall pass and you are safe. So this is going to be the weekly reading from Monday, the 10th of June, right through to Sunday. So let's connect and see what we need to know. We're going to do energies for the week itself. We're going to connect with Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the weekend. So I'm going to use all three decks for all the energy. So what's the energy around the week itself, please, angels? What's the week itself bringing in for us and doing for us? And what's the energy of the week? What do we need to know for this week? Maybe it's a lot of thinking going on this week, the same. A lot of deep thinking. So what's the energy for this week? What's the energy of this week? It feels like it may be a slow start to the week, but then it speeds up. So maybe some deep thinking going on Monday, Tuesday, even Wednesday, and then things are going to speed up. So what's the energy around the week itself, please, angels? There we go. And that one too. So let's get an energy from Archangel Michael for Monday and Tuesday. So what's the energy for Monday and Tuesday? What do we need to know for Monday and Tuesday, please? Two cards. Wow. I feel this is going to be a very powerful week, and that's why I've been guided to these three powerful decks. What's the energy for Wednesday and Thursday? Wednesday and Thursday and the energy for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow, okay, powerful. What's the energy around Monday and Tuesday? Thank you, angels. The energy around Wednesday and Thursday. The energy around Wednesday and Thursday. And that one and the energy for the weekend. So there is lots going on. Look how many cards are coming out. And I'm taking them. And then with the angel prayers, the energy for Monday and Tuesday, please, angels. The energy for Wednesday and Thursday, there it is. And the energy for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow. And you may find that it's kind of like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it feels like it may be a slow start and then it speeds up. So let's have a look, first of all, at the energy of the week itself. The first card is loved one in heaven. Wow. So feels like your loved ones in heaven are all around you this week, guiding you, coming through to you, giving you signs they are around you and with you, helping you to feel safe and also helping you to make healthy cho choices too. You know, when we make a healthy choice, we choose to love and accept ourselves. So this is very clear that your loved ones in heaven are bringing you a message saying, look after yourself, be kind and loving to yourself. Do things you enjoy. Love and accept yourself just as you are. Be kind and loving to yourself. This is what they are sharing with you. <clears throat> they give me a block. So they may not be able to physically communicate with you, but they are communicating with you through signs, feelings and synchronicities. Saying to you, you are alive, so live. Enjoy each moment. Be healthy. Make choices that are good for you. And choices that are good for you are choices that lead you on the right path, not down the wrong path where you are wallowing in self-pity or in fear or negatives or going over things. Focus forward. Focus forward, not back, unless you're blessing the past. It's like they said in Oasis, don't look back in anger. Bless the past and feel safe. And if you, there's still things you need to release around the past to feel more healthy, to make more healthy choices, I did a power cleanse on Saturday to release the past lovingly. And you can't move on from what or who is meant for you, but you can move on from the struggle around the situation. You can let go of drama and upheaval. 
So your loved ones in heaven are coming through and they are drawing close to you at this time. So they are with you all around you. So you may automatically know who this person is. Maybe you've lost your mum and dad like I have and you know they're around you. Or maybe you're connecting with someone else. It could be a sister, a brother, a friend. Could be an ancestor. Could be a grandmother, a grandfather, an uncle, an aunt. Someone is around you getting your attention today saying, please make healthy choices. And it feels like they are letting you know that in their life, they may have not made healthy choices. They may have not loved themselves enough or accepted themselves enough. And that's something they are sharing with you today. So thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. So if you're not sure what to do, the angels will guide you to make healthy decisions. And that's why I feel at the beginning of the week there is a little bit of thinking going on, procrastinating even, maybe some slow energy because... You're working out what to do. It's like you are contemplating things to love and accept yourself, to make the right choices for you. And this is when we have to let things go that aren't serving us, even if that means walking away from our special person for a while so they can evolve and transform. They may walk away from you because they need to love and accept themselves a bit more. And it's a healthy choice. So try and rise above the ego that gets the claws in and brings in that kind of pain and that struggle and that desperation thinking we've done something wrong or there is something wrong because you'll be fine. The angel's saying you'll be fine. It's a healthy choice. Whatever you are deciding to do right now, whatever's on your mind, whatever's going on, it will lead to better things. It's a healthy choice. So love and accept yourself and know you are safe. Look in the mirror and affirm that I am safe. Maybe even do the hope on a prayer and look in the mirror and forgive yourself. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And your inner child will feel alive again. Because sometimes we just have to apologise to ourselves because we've been neglecting our inner child. And it's our inner child that wants the love and the attention and the affection. It's the inner child that goes into those wounds of pain. So you can affirm I am safe and you can even pat your heart and say it's going to be okay. We're okay. You're okay. Because tapping is a very powerful thing. It takes your attention away from the negative and it puts you into the present moment. So you can affirm to your inner child I am safe. You can tap when you do this. So thank you angels for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. So this is a week where you're coming to terms with things, you're making the right decisions, healthy choices, and you're starting to love, approve, and accept yourself. And that also leads to self-respect. Now, the angel's saying the way forward is open. And this is so powerful. Now, what they're actually showing me as well in this card, this is like marks on a map, like the X, you know, marks the spot on the map, but they show me this like an aeroplane. So I feel there could be some travel coming up for some of you. Maybe you're traveling this week or you are planning some travel in the future and you're being shown the way is forward for that. It's the way is open for that. So if you're thinking, am I going to have the money for that or is it the right thing to do? The angels are saying to you, yes, the way is forward. It's open. You just have to have faith and know that you're making the right choices and decisions, the healthy choices and decisions. And the way forward is open to move forward in your life. You are not trapped. And sometimes we feel trapped because our mind creates that. We start looking at restrictions or we start thinking that we can't have something because we don't feel qualified enough. Or we feel that we've got to stay in a certain job or we've got to stay in a certain relationship or situation because we may feel we have responsibilities or obligations. And you're being reminded that you always have a choice. So choose the healthy choice, do what's right for you. And if your ego is bringing in fear, saying, well, what if I leave that job that's toxic to me and I can't pay the bills? God is your source. When you follow your heart and make a healthy choice for you, you'll always be rewarded. It's the same with walking away from a karmic partner or a karmic person or anything else that's dragging you down and robbing you of your light. So the angels are saying to you, you're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities are all around you. They will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. And this is knowing this is what you are being guided to. So if any changes are coming in and you know, you're afraid of these changes or you're trying to hold on to the past, the angels are bringing in beautiful new opportunities because the future is going to be even better than what you've had. 
So the energy is we've got welcome the new. Isn't this powerful? Welcome the new. Be ready for what's coming. See, every day is a great adventure. Think, okay, the past is gone. I can't change it now. I can just accept it and know that everything happened for my higher good. Even if there's things you wish you could have done differently, be kind and loving to yourself and gentle and say it's okay. It's okay. That inner child saying, if only we'd done this, if only we'd done that, things may be a bit different now. Tap your heart and say, it's okay. We're exactly where we need to be because you are and it's time to welcome the new. This is a great opportunity for change. And you are stronger than you know. Wow, I've got angel bumps because this is what you need to know this week. Whatever's going on, whatever decisions you're being guided to make, whatever choices you are coming to conclusion of, Whenever you'll think, yes, I need to do this for me right now. Can I handle it? Yes, you can. Because you are stronger than you know. And this is why I was guided to Archangel Michael today to bring in his decks. Because I feel he can come in for you this week if you allow him to. Remember, we all have free will. So you have to ask the angels to assist you. So call on him and say, give me strength. You know, sometimes we don't even know we're praying. But we're saying, give me strength. And that's praying to heaven. Archangel Michael will then come into you and give you the strength you need. And you're being shown here, you are stronger than you know as you welcome the new. You are stronger than you know as you move forward, as you realise you're not trapped. It's only in the mind. The possibilities and opportunities are endless in your life. And you're being guided right now to personal and spiritual freedom to master your life. And these are all messages your loved ones in heaven are bringing through for you. So what I'm also going to do is, before I go to the week cards, I'm going to bring in a message from the other side. So let's connect with your loved one in heaven. What, and you may automatically know who this is, or you may need to sit with the message. But what does your loved one in heaven want to say today? Look at this, 999, nine, nine, you have spiritual support. Now, if you start seeing 999, nine, nine, that's a huge sign of your spiritual pathway. And your loved ones in heaven are coming through to you today whether it's your loved ones who've walked the earth and passed over, or it's your angels or your spirit guides, whoever you are connecting with, whether it's Jesus or God or a spirit animal, you're being shown that you have spiritual support. You are not alone. And this is what your loved ones are sharing with you. And what I'm actually getting with is, here in the UK, if we have an emergency, we ring 999. Now, I know for some of you, it's not 999, it's 911, or maybe it's other numbers. But when you're going through an emergency in your life, big or small, light or dark, whatever you're going through, whether it's you can't get a top off a jar and that's a crisis for you in that moment, it's an emergency. Or you're going through something life-threatening or dramatic in your life, you're going through change, call on the angels and they will be with you straight away because they're your spiritual support. So whenever you're going through an emergency, you're not alone. You are protected, supported, guided directed and watched over by angels and that's what you need to know so monday and tuesday then what's the energy so the energy is study and learning and again this is really interesting because i feel that monday tuesday wednesday is a lot of thinking working things out especially if there's healthy choices to make or you're deciding what to do so study and learning is very much about life we learn through our experiences and we study our experiences through observing what we're going through by observing behaviour, whether it's our behaviour or the behaviour of others. So we learn how to handle our lives. But also we study and learn things we are changing and doing. So study and learning can be gaining new skills, gaining fresh understanding, gaining fresh perspective, studying something you want to do, you know, learning something new. So take this card now, it's resonating with you. But the angels are with you, allowing you to see that every day is a new day. It's a day to learn. So the message says, thank you, angels, for allowing me to see that every day is a learning day. So every day you are growing on this journey. We never stop learning. We never stop evolving. It doesn't matter how spiritual we become or how enlightened we are. We are always being enlightened. We're always becoming more spiritual. We're always growing and transforming. There's always something to learn. There's always mistakes we make because they are lessons. They are how we grow and evolve and transform to become our greatest version. Body changes. So this is why you also may be receiving this week 
the healthy choices card because you may be making healthy choices Monday and Tuesday that benefit your body. So your body can change, which means you may be looking after yourself better, maybe cutting out toxic things like alcohol, smoking cigarettes, eating the wrong type of food, eating healthier, doing more spiritual practices. Because, you know, if you look at this card, there's like a balance in this card, which can be connected with things like physical exercise, yoga, but also things like balancing your work life and your home life or your playing life in other words playing going out enjoying yourself doing things because it's not all about work you know if you've been dedicating all your time to your job and your work no matter whether you're working for someone else or yourself you have to have some play time you have to give yourself some time off and this is why you may be thinking about jetting off somewhere maybe you're thinking about a holiday or maybe you've got to go somewhere for work on the plane or on a train or you're thinking of some travel and this is the perfect time this year to expand your horizons and travel around and do new things. Hobbies. So you may also be learning a new hobby or studying something new that becomes a hobby. A hobby is something you enjoy doing, something you put time and energy in, like people do knitting as a hobby. You know, like for me, my wigs are my hobby because I enjoy messing with them, playing with them, talking about them. That's why I created Wigs with Liz. So this is something that you are doing that you enjoy that brings in passion and purpose. So a hobby you may be enjoying learning more about, studying more about, and also being guided to join in. Instead of isolating yourself, join in. Someone asks you to do something, join in. You never know where it's going to lead. It reminds me this card does of in The Secret by Rhonda Byrne in the film. It shows there's a lady and she's manifesting love. And she's sitting on this kind of bank in the park, you know, sitting there on like, a, you know, like I say a bank, I mean, like a piece of grass looking out and she's manifesting love. She's manifesting love. She's wanting love. And she sees this, these people playing volleyball. It may have even been on the beach. I can't remember. She's sitting there manifesting love, thinking good thoughts, positive thinking. And she sees these um, people playing volleyball. And they invite her to join because the ball comes to her, you know, when the ball goes array, the ball comes to her and she goes, she throws it back and they say, come and join us, come and play. Now she has a choice in that moment. She has a choice. Does she join in or does she say no? Because she may feel embarrassed or self-conscious or she may be a bit nervous or anxious. So she chooses to join in and then she becomes the relation in a relationship she becomes the girlfriend of one of the guys playing so it's how when we join in we are given opportunities and we're always given opportunities it's our choice what we do so try and join in especially monday and tuesday if you get invited somewhere you may even get invited to some kind of study group or you may be invited to something maybe on social media or however it is whether it's in person online you know however you get invited to do something or join in Join in. Be a part of the, the crowd that you're in. So I'm not saying you dim your light to be around those kind of people. But if you're being invited to do something you enjoy, maybe even a hobby you enjoy, or something new that could become a hobby, then that's coming from heaven. So follow your intuition. And embrace this magical moment. So Monday and Tuesday, embrace what's going on around you. Be in the moment, observe from a higher place and embrace this magical moment. So there's going to be some magical moments coming in Monday and Tuesday. You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. So think about what I just said about that lady who was manifesting love and then a random event happened. Remember, there's no random. It's all synchronized perfectly by heaven. But, you know, for her, she would have thought, oh, no, I'm not going to join in and she may have missed the opportunity in that moment now if she was meant to be with that person she would have ended up with that person at some point they would have met in another way but she chose to join in she chose to embrace that magical moment and that led to a part of her destiny so always remember the universe is working for you not against you so if you feel like something's happening and Oh, well, I'm being punished. It's growing you. It's making you stronger. It's preparing you for something new so you can welcome the new. And look at this Archangel Michael is saying, come with me. Come with me. Stay the course. Don't panic. You're not on the wrong path right now. 
You're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. I've got angel bumps. What a beautiful message to come through. So again, this is, if you're going through any worry or fear, don't panic. Just breathe. Maybe you need to learn more about the journey you're on. It could be the twin flame journey you're on. It could be something else you're going through. You're not on the wrong path. So understand that Monday and Tuesday, especially if you're making decisions. You may just be going through a few bumps right now, a few blips. It's going to be okay. You'll be fine. So Wednesday and Thursday, your loved ones are safe. Wow. So Wednesday and Thursday, you may be thinking about others. And on this journey, that's a normal thing because we are nurturers. We are light workers, empaths, empresses. So remember, you will think about your loved ones sometimes over yourself. You may be thinking about your loved ones in heaven. Well, they were all around you today saying, we're with you. There's no need to fear. So if you're thinking about your loved ones in heaven, are they okay? You know, they're fine. They're with you and they give me fear. So let go of any fear, especially maybe fear about not being there at the end or not spending enough time with them because they love you and they want you to know that now they are around you as a spiritual support. Now, your loved ones could also be your kids. Maybe your kids are going traveling or they are studying learning. Maybe they're doing something new. Maybe they're going to a new school or they're going to university or college or into a new job or maybe they've had a move in their life or a change in their life. And you're worried about them, thinking, are they going to be okay? They are loved and safe as they walk around their lives and navigate their own journey. Because remember, they are also souls. Your loved ones could be family members, friends, but could also be your special person. And the angel saying you don't need to worry about anybody else because they are loved and safe. Let go of your fear and worry for your loved ones because Archangel Michael is looking after them. He's saying, I am looking after them. And you, their guardian angels are also looking after them. So Tuesday even as well could be jumping in. But Wednesday and Thursday, know that all is well. And you're also going to receive heavenly signs. So it feels like Wednesday and Thursday, you're going to receive signs. Signs that your loved ones are safe. Signs that you're on the right path. Signs that you're making the right choices. Especially if you are asking for help Monday and Tuesday, praying, doing some study, you're going to be shown heavenly signs that all is well. And also these heavenly signs could be connected with spirituality, religion. You could be also going through changes in your spiritual beliefs, your religious beliefs. You're coming to this understanding of who you are. Like for me, for example, I class myself as a spiritual Christian. Okay, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. I have an amazing connection with Jesus and God, even though I do cards. Now, other people see that as wrong because of their belief system or their perception. But we have to move beyond that and not judge anyone. It's everybody's own right to, you know, kind of do religion or perform things or whatever they want to do. So never judge another. OK, and this is a big thing, because when we judge other people, we will get judged ourselves. So think about you. Who cares what people think about the way you do your spiritual practices or your religious beliefs, you know your truth. So you may even be thinking about that Wednesday and Thursday. And you may be asking for signs from heaven. Am I doing the right thing? Is this the right thing? Am I loved by God? Am I safe? And you'll be shown heavenly signs that everything you go through is part of your spiritual growth. And it really is all about connecting with your inner power, the divine father. And the divine father really is God. He's coming through to say to you, you are your own temple. And what that means is you have a body temple where your spirit and soul resides, but you have the power to go within. That's your temple. And he created that for you. So whenever you go into panic or anxiety or struggle or stress, you can go within to reconnect with yourself and reconnect with him or the universe, the higher power, whoever you connect with. It says, Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. Isn't that beautiful? So God, the universe, the higher power, whoever you connect with, there is no limits. It's your belief and your power and your right to connect with whomever up there. So we'll say source energy. Source energy is co-creating your world with you because you were created in God's image. That means you were created in the I am presence where you are valuable and strong. You are a creator. I am strong. I am valuable. So I feel Wednesday and Thursday, there's a lot of inner knowingness of your true path. 
This is why I'm kind of getting the energy of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, lots of thinking and processing and going within to take back your power. So it could be a slow start to the week because of that. We may feel a slow start, even if you've got lots going on, and then boom, things are going to speed up. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the weekend, clear vibes, wow. So Archangel Metatron is coming through, and he's the divine timing angel. Clear vibes. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. So maybe a great time to do a chakra cleanse, to clear your vibes, maybe to clear your space, clear your clutter, maybe cleanse your space, maybe do some kind of ritual on yourself, which can mean, you know, just cleansing yourself in some way, going outdoors, breathing in the air, clear vibes. So that will also raise your vibration and balance. So when you clear your vibes, you bring balance in. So you're going to feel more balanced at the weekend. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. So balance, and this can also be, as I said, balancing work and play. So the weekend, you may think, right, I'm going to play this weekend. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to do things for me. You may also be planning a holiday. Like I said, maybe you are having a holiday this week. But whatever's going on, balance your vibration and clear your vibration by asking the angels to cleanse and clear you. Archangel Michael saying this is a great time to step into the spotlight. So the weekend, you may be doing things out in the open. Again, if you're joining in, you may be out in the spotlight because you may be with other people. So you may be a little bit afraid thinking, are they watching you? But you're in your power. This is also an opportunity for some of you to step into the spotlight. Maybe you're thinking of going live on social media, whether it's TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. This could also be coming together with your person. Stepping out into the open. Things changing. So it says, you have a message the world needs to hear. And it's time to share your wisdom. So this may be the perfect time at the weekend to start your YouTube channel. Record that video. Put a post on social media. To, you know, speak your truth somehow. Do things for you. So this is really about you stepping into your spiritual power as we move forward. And we've got self-employment. So this could also be your sign that self-employment is right for you. And it's something you are capable of having, doing and manifesting. When you're self-employed, you put more energy into what you're doing anyway because you're doing it for you. But you're also able to give yourself more time off to work hours that suit you better. So this may also be something you were thinking about. Many of you will already be self-employed, but you may be needing to take it to the next level which means maybe you're doing it on the side and you're moonlighting and you're being guided to take it full time. And there's fear there. There was for me when I went full time, but it was the best thing I did. You know, being afraid of leaving that job thinking, what if I can't pay the bills or what if it doesn't work out? You have to have faith in God's plan. And if you're doing what you enjoy and what you love, you'll always be taken care of, especially if that service work. Be true to you. So you're going to be true to yourself again. This could also be about speaking your truth to your special person or to your family, friends about things like religious beliefs, your spiritual power, who you are, making healthy choices, doing things that are right for you. Be true to yourself at the weekend and all will be well. And we've also got parental care. So this is also the way you look after your inner child. When you're being true to yourself, your inner child is happy because you're not holding anything back. And you're not taking anything personally either because you're giving yourself love and care. So parental care can also be about loving care to yourself, giving to yourself what you need, being kind to yourself, being gentle with yourself, being very loving towards yourself. Parental care can also be about your kids. It could be about your existing children, again, wondering, are they going to be okay? Well, you're there for them. You don't need to mollycoddle them. Just be there for them. Be true to yourself. Do what's right. And, you know, if you know something's right for them, then do what's right. Okay, even if at the time they may not understand. Okay, I remember once when my mum and dad came and got me from a party. You know, I'm going back, I was like a teenager. I was like 14, 15. And at the time, it was the worst thing in the world to me. I thought, how can they do that to me? But they were trying to protect me. And really, they may not have had anything to worry about that, but they would do what they thought was right. And I forgive them for that. So remember, don't beat yourself up about things you've done, thinking, was that the right thing to do? You were doing everything through parental care. And that's also the reason to forgive your parents for anything that's happened. They were doing what they thought was best from their own perspective, even if you didn't understand that. 
Everyone is doing the best they can with the information they have and the experiences they are having. So trust in that. And also parental care, maybe you're looking after your parents right now. Maybe they're not very well or they could be in care or maybe they're in the hospital or something's going on. So be loving and kind. When I'm connecting with this parental care card is be loving and kind. Be giving. Because that's how you parent people, including yourself. You know, parenting someone can also be being kind to someone, a stranger, someone you're having a conversation with. Because parental care is also about caring what other people think, doing the best for people, being kind and gentle, sharing your wisdom, sharing your knowledge. So things you are studying and learning Monday and Tuesday is going to benefit you at the weekend. Because you may even learn something at Monday and Tuesday that you're able to talk about with someone at the weekend that assists them and helps them. It could be your kids, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be someone completely random who you meet because you've joined into something. But whatever's going on, welcome the new and move forward, move forward fearlessly because this is going to be a great week. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.